What is up you guys welcome back to the channel coming at you with a yet again another perfume experience and for today I have none other than Memos Marfa the one and only tuberose based perfume that does have a complete cult following for all intended purposes so for today, you guys, what I'll be doing is I'll be going over the description slash musing off of Memo's website, followed by a breakdown of the notes, and last but not least, a perfume experience. But before we get started, and as per tradition on this channel, make sure to grab your favorite snack, your favorite bevy or cafe, and sit back and relax and enjoy the awesomeness heading your way. For myself, I have some coffee from Burundi okay perfect so let's get started so all right all right Marfa de Parfum the eye of a tuberose. Marfa, a destination with a unique destiny. Its bottle, emblazoned with a wide open eye, provides the first clue. Deep in the Texas, Marfa beckons the eye and holds its gaze. Marfa has a power of attraction like no other. Like the tuberose, absolute, a bewitching, lingering and unforgettable flower marfa evokes the singular nature of this white hot land i have no idea if this made sense to any of you it hasn't for me so <laughs> let's move on okay so for the notes we have orange blossom absolute tuberose absolute and white musk and there's also oil of mandarin, agave accord oil, agave accord, my bad, uh, oil of ylang ylang, and oil of sandalwood, oil of cedar, and vanilla seed. Okay, and let's see if there's anything else in here. All right, there is a slight musing uh, continuation. Gaze skyward, the desert is forgotten. Tuberose absolute. Mystery, infinity hidden from view, silence beneath the cacti. A slow motion western, vanilla seed. The Milky Way leaves an azure trail. The road, half cedar, half sandalwood, rises. Orange blossom absolute monolithic shadows, dream sculptures, rocky mountains, worlds collide. Agave cord, still the wind, meld musk with the strident, striped color of neon light. Stir the dust from orange blossom, heat drunken blue memories. Oil of ylang ylang, here life is a storybook, Marfa. Again, the, <laughs> the most uh, weird musing. Okay, anyways, so with that said, you guys, we will get now into the perfume experience. Okay, so with that said, got our sampler. Here we go. The samplers from this house are really really good the sprayers are super good they're very uh, generous so that is one thing this house has going for it yeah <laughs> wow 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 so hard to describe it's kind of like a, a very bright floral spicy 
um, exotic but classy and refined opening is just so, so good. There's also a fruity quality. Oh, yeah, oil of mandarin. Okay, we'll get to that shortly then. Uh, I was just going to say the opening did seem uh, fruity with a citrus with a citrusy touch. So that is definitely there. Now, this one comes across more as a feminine leaning, uh, but honestly, I don't care. I'm going to wear it. Such, such a great scent, okay? Anyways, let's get into the uh, confirmation of the notes that they highlight. So, Orange Blossom Absolute, 100% yes, so you do get that floral quality with the green touch that's very typical of Orange Blossom. Tuberose, yes, there's tuberose and spades in here. And the beauty of the tuberose in here is that tuberose can be a bit sharp. And I think what they've done here is they maintained this tuberose profile while taking that edge off to reduce the sharpness. So you're left with that beautiful, jammy floral note white musk yes there is oil of mandarin absolutely you get that blast of mandarin off of the get-go and by the way if you want to get a sense of what that is like if you have a mandarin or an orange at home and you peel the skin off and you uh, squeeze the skin and the spritz that comes out that's the oil that you're getting here and it's just gorgeous in the opening you guys it's like you took you're opening a fresh mandarin or an orange and the oils from the skin are spraying out it's just beautiful okay agave accord so it's been a few years since i've been ag around agave so agave is the kind of uh, i don't know if it's a fruit or vegetable but it's basically used to make um uh, tequila as well as there's another drink that's escaping my mind right now but it's used uh, to make alcoholic drinks pretty much yeah i can't quite pick on it in here but possibly yalang yalang yes in here and it's gorgeous uh, sandalwood yes there is sandalwood and then oil of cedar Yes, there is a woody quality to this, but it's very, very subtle and it sits in the background and vanilla seed. Yes, there is a vanillic gourmandish touch to this, but again, very, very subtle. Oh, one thing they do mention is that the alcohol in our formulas comes from organic cereals from France or Italy. So that's basically... Um, I guess, uh, a more uh, natural form of alcohol, if you wish, okay? All right, you guys. So, with that said, let's talk some facts, some data, some info that you are here for. Performance on the... My God, is so good. <laughs> so good. All right. Performance on this is strong, okay? Strong projection, strong trail, strong silage. Your nose will not go blind to it. It is wafting towards my nostrils right now off of my forearm, and it is relentless, okay? Strong performance on this for sure. Now, with respect to seasonality. Listen, with this one, even though it does have some warm facets to it, it's such a happy bright um, festive scent in a lot of ways and with the tuberose in it and the mandarin it most certainly is better suited for hot weather so think spring and summer uh, which is basically really the seasons you're also having a good time so most certainly recommend this for the uh, spring and summer now with respect to time of day Listen, I'm going to go ahead and say that this is versatile enough to wear across the whole day because of the different facets in it, from the citrus to the musk to the green to the woods, okay? However, I'm going to go ahead and say even though it's versatile to wear across the whole day, it does have a morning bias, all right? 
So the way it opens up is just citrus as fresh as bright and happy. Who doesn't want to start their day like this? Okay. And it doesn't have this, uh, even though it does have a gourmandish touch to it and the creaminess from the sandalwood, it doesn't have this darkness that really lends to evening wear but you can still pull it in the evening if you'd like to it is it really is versatile enough to wear across the whole day just keep in mind that it does have a morning bias all right now with respect to how you would dress this i'm gonna go ahead and say semi-formal semi-casual casual chic okay uh so that's kind of the aesthetic you're going for with respect to how you address this. Now, the gender spectrum. The website, uh, I believe, markets this as unisex, okay? Or the brand marks it as unisex. However, this most certainly <laughs> is more traditionally um, feminine in its profile. The reason I say I'm comfortable wearing it, even as a guy, is that to be rose, generally speaking, is a masculine-oriented floral, okay? And while this does open up very feminine and maintains a feminine line across the uh, scent, I do find that it has this underlying masculine uh, feel to it. And it does turn more masculine as it cools down. Also, you start to get more of the greens from the orange blossom, uh, as well as from the cedar wood, as well as more of those masculine qualities coming out. So uh, keep that in mind. It is unisex, but with a feminine bias, so just something to keep in mind. Now, context-wise, where would you dress this? Where would you enjoy it? I want to put this perfume when I'm doing something that's fun, something that's enjoyable to me, uh, something that's, you know, uh, in the company of good friends and it's a sunny day. So I'm going to go ahead and say that this is suited for any chic, classy setting uh, in, in the sun, outdoor summers. So think going out for a day of yachting with your friends, um, going out for a day on the beach club, uh, going out for a day uh, just, you know, having brunch, possibly golfing, playing tennis. I want you also to think of going out for a day where you're just hanging out with friends, perhaps in a vineyard. So any really semi-formal, casual, chic setting, okay, where you're having a good time, there's plenty of sunshine, outdoorsy. This is such a bright, happy scent that I can't help but think about the outdoors. But you're not going to wear this going out, you know, doing um, a bushcraft, for example, or barbecuing. You're going out to do some leisure activity that's a bit higher end, and you're enjoying yourself in the company of others under the great uh, sunshine. All right? So... Uh, to wrap things up, you guys, do I recommend Marfa by Memo? 100% yes. Get your nose on it. Get your wallet on it. Cop it. You will not regret it. This does have a cult following, as I've stated, and it is blind by worthy. Uh, I used to have a bottle that I used all up. Uh, I do have a sampler here, but most certainly once this is up, I will be procuring another full bottle. All right. So, with that said, you guys, I'm going to wrap it up here. As per usual, very much appreciate your time and attention, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.